<laughs> Hello there. I am Sensei Victoria Whitfield, helping entrepreneurs heal. And I'm welcoming you back to another installment of your weekly love letters from the dojo at naturalintuition.com, your source for channeled holistic stress management techniques and guidance for developing your natural intuition. Whether you're looking to improve the quality of your personal or professional life, let this love letter be your reminder that you are not alone and that together we can make that happen. Yes, yes. This is week two of five in our deep dive into what it takes to live an unapologetic life. Last week, we talked about why we need you now more than ever to live an unapologetic life. And this week... We're going to continue to step forward in that brilliance, living unapologetically now. What it takes to live unapologetically now. And this week we're going to talk about, sorry, that word, sorry, it's time. This is the week. Today is the day. Right now is the hour, is the minute, is the moment that you are going to delete sorry from your vocabulary. Yes, it's possible. Yes, it's possible. And we're going to do it together. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so be kind to yourself. This is easier said than done. Now, are you somebody who tends to lead with saying sorry, right? You might be having a little bit of deja vu. I asked this last week, but the word sorry herself is our meditation this week on living unapologetically, right? Are you apologizing for everything? Women especially are taught to apologize when they have anything to say. And what's the story around sorry that you carry for yourself, right? We often tell ourselves a story that it's polite, right? Or you're nice, you know, you're being nice, you're being polite, you know, you're being courteous if you say sorry constantly, right? You're pleasing and taking care of everybody around you when you say, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe if you, when you were a little kid and, you know, you, you were out of line, you might have smacked the other kid or you took somebody's toy or you were naughty, right? Your parents brought you to the other kids like, all right, say you're sorry. And so, I'm sorry. And then the other kid says, well, okay, thank you. Or I apologize too, right? I'm sorry. That sort of a thing. And we create a story around the word sorry where it's taking ownership and taking responsibility for being out of line. But here's the thing. The reason why you're watching this video in particular is because your relationship with sorry, the word sorry, has gotten out of hand, right? Whereas it's meant to be used extremely sparingly, right? Next to never, actually, you're using it like breathing. <laughs> it's as if every other breath we're saying, I'm sorry. And it becomes an apology for existing. Um, it becomes an apology for occupying the same space as others. And what that can end up looking like is that we're afraid to make others feel small because we're here, right? So we'll turn down our light to appear nice or polite and not rock the boat. Yes, yes. And meeting the world at I'm sorry. And here's the thing. The guides are saying that this week you're going to try, at least try, replacing the word sorry with thank you, right? If only just for now, if only just for this week, if only just for today, you're going to, when you say you're sorry, X that, you're going to say thank you. Because when 
whenever you are sorry, actually, or in need to apologize, there's something to be grateful for. And gratitude has a significantly higher vibration than sorry, right? It's time for you to live life unapologetically. And the way that we're going to do that this week in particular is with gratitude, saying thank you. Thank you in and of herself is a mantra for abundance. This meets the world with open heart, shoulders back, chin up, proud and strong and receptive. So even if you know how last week we talked about um, at the movie theater, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right? Trying to move through. It's instead, listen to how different this sounds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. How beautiful. How different did that feel? Just go through saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Versus, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Right higher vibration and it's just changing the words what matters most is how you feel notice the shift in vibration between meeting the world saying i'm sorry versus meeting the world saying thank you this week in particular you know there's a difference between being polite and being afraid right and this year is not about meeting the world with fear we're going to meet the world with love and readiness, right? Coming open hearted. You can be full of positive decorum, elegance, grace, right? You can be very polite and a very nice person and unapologetic at the same time. It's the intention, the energy that you arrive with. And for this week in particular, we're going to focus on arriving with gratitude. Now I'm hearing the oracle cards calling in the energy. It is Daily Guidance from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. It's a deck that we're going to be journeying all month into living unapologetically with. So angels, what do we need to know this week in particular about sorry, not sorry? Ooh, I felt it. Release and surrender this is so beautiful we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenge thank you i will say that i'll, I'll finish reading first open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands open your hands arms and heart to our love and assistance. This is where we're going to leave off this week in particular. Letting go of saying I'm sorry is actually letting go of trying to control everything. The angels are really good that they have brought this forward, that it's part of our control coping, right? With mm, things don't feel comfortable. Let me apologize. So I can take back control over the situation by taking responsibility, even if I didn't do anything wrong, right? So this is how we're taking on being polite or taking on being nice, taking control over the situation. It takes courage to release saying I'm sorry all the time. Surrender it over to the angels. Ask your angels for support in being able to shift from saying I'm sorry to saying thank you. Go ahead, comment below, send me an email back. What comes up for you around releasing and surrendering, being sorry all the time and instead meeting the world in gratitude? What stories do you have to share around this, right? What's coming up for you? I want to know. Make sure that you subscribe on YouTube so that you get these love letters first every week and we'll see you next time for part three of five of living life unapologetically are you ready for it <laughs> mwah, 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 mwah. i'll see you then <laughs>